What's going on guys, it's Shu here bringing you another review on Spy X Family. And in this episode we actually get to see some family moments here man. Family moments between your Lloyd and Anya. Like, Lloyd, I think this man has already fallen for his family. He loves them in a way that's different from what he's used to. And they all love each other in a different way, which is very sweet, I gotta admit. Uh, but we see them going into the school and as they're getting in everyone is being tested Which was a very smart way. I love how they were testing everyone that was going through in uh, Obviously they were being tested for different things. We see how Them specifically are being targeted by one of the headmasters um, I believe his name was hunter or something like that or Henderson. I don't remember the name, but we have him kind of observing and having them being judged uh we see that basically everything that lloyd and company or, or the folgers i suppose like that the folgers were being tested on they were passing it very elegantly which was something that was being said a lot through this episode uh they saw they gave respect to uh, the statue of the head of the founding person as well as saving a boy who was being used to kind of uh, be kind of like the uh, an obstacle uh, to test them on their elegance. They got uh, Lloyd got his suit dirty, but he was able to get a, a quick change, which was funny because they were prepared. They were about to be dismissed, but all of a sudden we see all these animals coming out, which was hilarious. We see the reaction of other people, people actually arguing about their position and what they were. And almost having their child stamp, uh, st stomped on by animals. Uh, we see Lloyd saving this kid. And we see Yor putting down this animal on the pressure points. Like Seeing her in action was a treat. As well as seeing Lloyd. Seeing both of them in action and reacting to this was perfect. I loved it. Um, I think personally, I think Yor is more of a threat than Lloyd is. I definitely think that. I mean, she's not afraid to get blood on her hands. Literally, might be bathed in blood and she'd be okay with that. Lloyd would be like, all right, I'm done, get off. I mean, she seems like the type that would walk around in it, <laughs> in my opinion. But we see that they are able to resolve the problems, help people out here, and get themselves an interview all elegantly, which was fun. But then the real test happens because we actually have them going into the interview we have these three guys, which is, he's one of them. Uh, we have this, uh, I forgot, uh, Swan, I think it was last name. He was very uh, asshole-ish, let's be honest. And we have this other young, I mean, not young, but this tender, more loving uh, older gentleman who they all are being, you know, being the examiners. And they're actually, you know, not, not that bad. You know, they're, they're actually a good bunch. Uh, Swan, of course, being the only one that is just evil, I want to say. Uh, they ask all the series of questions, the ones that Lloyd basically had had them going through and practicing and trying to figure out the best way to answer. But when they started asking Anya, or Swan asking Anya about questions about her previous mother, she starts to think about it and starts tearing up, which was something that honestly i'm curious about i'm wondering who her mother was back then what happened to her i believe she's probably passed away but i mean this is something that i definitely want to see you know what happened you know how did she get these powers was she born with them was she experimented on all these things you know just kind of want to know but we see that both lloyd and your went full-on parent mode when it came to that we see them reacting to this and seeing how angry they were at the fact that they were disrespecting her and we even see lloyd kind of punching a a hole or basically a mosquito into the uh, table and actually destroying and say if you guys don't value this then your school is not as great as we had once thought we're gonna leave and therefore he had no idea why he did that but he did anyway because he cares he cares about Anya and he probably sees a, a lot of her in him and so you know coming from that kind of background 
you know, they kind of have this little moment here and I'm hoping for the best. So really, it was nice. I liked the, the way the episode ended uh, with them having this little moment at the house, despite everything. But that is it for me, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment below your thoughts. I always love to know what you guys think. Stay safe and I'll catch you later.